I'm at the Proving Grounds near Yuma, Arizona. It's a military installation and there's this outdoor museum where they have some of the old tanks and stuff and I'm going to take you for a little tour. Here we go. Please subscribe, like, and comment. The armored personnel carrier you see here is capable of amphibious and airdrop operations. It was used to transport and furnish protection for troops with full equipment or cargo on water and land. It was used exclusively in Vietnam and Saudi Arabia. The wind was crazy on this day, so I muted the sound on many of the video clips and added music. M728 combat engineer vehicle and it says it was used in Vietnam and Desert Storm in Saudi Arabia. This self-propelled howitzer was developed on a chassis shared with other systems. It saw combat in Vietnam. The M103 combat tank is a vehicle that provided a heavy tank armed with a 120 millimeter gun with decreased weight and increased maneuverability, greater flexibility, and accessibility of all components. This vehicle weighs 120,000 pounds. This M74 tank is a recovery vehicle that is of Korean War vintage. It was used to support testing in the early Cold War era. The M4A3 Sherman tank was manufactured in April of 1944 at the Grand Blanc Tank Factory in Lima, Ohio. It has wet stowage for ammunition where the rounds were stowed in water jackets, which if penetrated, douse them in liquid, which reduced the likelihood of combustion. It has a 75 millimeter gun and was originally equipped with two 30 caliber air-cooled Browning machine guns and a 50 caliber M2 heavy barreled machine gun above the turret. Many of the holes in the still body of the tank have had the edges ground flat, removing the ridge caused by impact. This grinding has been identified as European combat damage repairs. These repairs are testimony to the fact that the old war horse is a World War II combat veteran. This is the Sergeant York. It's a 40 millimeter anti-aircraft weapon system and it's experimental. The M91 
4.5 inch towed multiple rocket launcher was used at Yuma Proving Grounds to test 115 millimeter rockets and related equipment. This M2A1 40 millimeter towed anti-aircraft gun was used at Yuma Proving Grounds to test fuses and projectiles. This tank was used extensively in Vietnam and it provided a mobile, lightly armored anti-aircraft and ground support weapon station mounted on a modified tank ch chassis. It's the M42A2, nicknamed Duster. It's anti-aircraft artillery and has self-propelled twin 40 millimeter guns. This is called the Honest John rocket and this one here is the Little John rocket. This rocket is a truck mounted launcher and is used for surface to surface, large caliber, thin stabilized free flight rockets. The launcher is mounted on an M139C truck chassis and equipped with a manual trans traversing mechanism and power and manual elevating mechanism. You'll have to pardon the wind, it's a very windy day here at the Yuma Proving Grounds. Here is the M101 105mm towed howitzer. The M114 is a 155mm towed howitzer and it saw action in World War II, the Korean War, and Vietnam. This is an 8 inch towed howitzer. It's the M115. It's based on a pre World War II carriage. This howitzer came to the Yuma Proving Grounds in the early 1960s. This tank is the M7B1 105mm self-propelled howitzer. It's a standard howitzer for U.S. Army Allied Forces during World War II. I hope you've enjoyed this video of my tour around the Yuma Proving Grounds Museum. If you'll please subscribe to my channel, like and comment. That's going to help me grow. I'm looking to get a thousand subscribers. Please help me out. Thanks.